This is one of those conversations you will remember later today. Jen Glantz is a professional bridesmaid. She gets hired to be in your wedding party. She posted this up, this service up, and within 48 hours, she got 300 responses from people that wanted to hire her. Jen, good morning, and thank you for coming on. Hi, thank you so much for having me. We're so happy to talk to you because we don't understand this at all. We're very curious. So what is it that people are looking for when they hire you to be a bridesmaid? You know, not everybody has a close best friend or their best friends are a hot mess. So they call me in to serve as that person for the day to pretend to know them and be their bridesmaid. Pretend. And do you act, do you study yeah. them and act like you are their friend and no one knows? I know everything about them. I learn where they went to high school. I learn all the street corners and I pretend to be their friend for a day and they don't tell anyone. Oftentimes, not even the person they're marrying. What? <laughs> But don't people wonder where you came from? I guess well, I not. A, yeah, but I have a fake backstory of how I know the person getting married. So I know them from yoga class, middle school, high school, grad school. Oh, and we go I'm off dead. This, is a, this needs to be a movie. I Wow. Wow. So you started this eight years ago. How many bridesmaid roles have you played? Since I started it, I've worked with over 125 different brides all over the country, and most people have never found out that I've ever been hired. <laughs> okay, what about the parents? The parents have to you know. know. Your, your own parents don't always know your close friends. They might have heard names before, but they don't always know everybody in your life. And they're and so wrapped up. Away with it. Yeah, and they're so wrapped up in the day and, and, and hosting their friends there that I guess they don't really realize. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and where do you base yourself? So I am based in Brooklyn, New York, but I have traveled all over the country. I've done Vegas weddings. I've done weddings all the way in North Dakota. I have done weddings everywhere. Do you ever get tripped up? Like forget sort of who you are in the bridesmaid? Who world? you are? I mean, fair question. Yeah, there's some times where I really have to study who I am. I don't want to forget the couple's name when I give a maid of honor speech. So oh, it takes speech. a lot of preparation. What? what? Come on, the speech. I mean, even we who know people who are in the wedding party panic about the speech, and you have to completely create it. Completely create it. I also have to make sure the dance floor is constantly filled. I have to take the bride to the bathroom and help her pee in her wedding dress, which is a really messy experience. So I do a lot. Do you ever feel unsafe? Unsafe. There's definitely been times where I thought I was getting catfished and the couple wouldn't, you know, video chat with me. They wouldn't send me their information, but I got on the plane anyway. And luckily <sighs> I've never been, I've never been fooled before, but there have been some close calls. And wow. How, how can I ask, like, what kind of money do you make doing this? Because it's a gig economy. And if people are willing to play the role, what can they make? You can make anywhere from 2500 a wedding and up, depending on how many hours you're going to be there for, if you go to the bachelorette party, the bridal shower, and so much more. Packages. <laughs> and are you having fun? Sounds like you're having the time of your life. Oh, yeah. I would say that while it is fun, it is a lot of dirty work. I often leave there with, like, my body covered in bruises. I'm bleeding. Why, I'm why, so why, 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 why? Why are you bleeding? Well, sometimes I've had to serve as a bodyguard for the for the bride to make sure no wedding crashes interrupt the wedding or no uninvited guests are there. Oftentimes, you're running around in heels. You're dealing with everything from missing grooms to cold feet and things that nobody tells you about about weddings. Jen Glantz is a bridesmaid for hire. She's worked a lot, and she's making a living doing it. Are you married? I am. I got married during the pandemic on the sidewalk. We didn't even have a wedding. We just eloped. And I think that's the perfect way a professional bridesmaid can get married. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I I don't know. I, I am I understand. fascinated by you. I, I have to tell you, like, we've been on the end of so much drama with bridal parties that I kind of get, like, alleviating the drama, just having to stand there, filling in the for the drama and not having to create all the tension that we've heard about over the years. So, Jen... Thank you. You've created a market. Yeah. Thank you, Jen, for coming on to explain. That's we appreciate crazy. it. Thank you for having me. Take care. Take When's care. your next bridesmaid role? It's coming up in a few weeks, and we're so booked for 2023 because of the pandemic that we're rarely free any weekend. Wow. Well, we? Are there multiples of you? Oh, yeah. We've had over 100,000 people apply to work this job, and we have hired and fired people over the years. <laughs> it's a bold business. 
I don't, Ryan's face right now, like he I, has no I'm words. So, I have no words. <laughs> I'm so taken aback by it and confused. I am too. But because... I'm happy that you've created like this business for yourself, Jen. Thank you for coming on. Thank you guys so much for having me. And Ryan, you'd be a great professional groomsman. Really? <laughs> well, why, why do you say that? I mean, you would bring everything to the table. The dance moves. You'd also be able to give a great speech. The and I dance. feel like you can deal with drama. You would but, deal with drama. Would people wonder how I know so many people getting married all the time? Oh, it's easy because you know everybody from oh. all your traveling. Right, but they that, think you're just a friendly person. Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't think that's oh, the last thing Oh, I could just do it as me. About. What if I just was me hired well, to right. be in and the party? Like, yeah, right. Like I, I just tell everybody. Yeah. I don't. I just met them. I met but them at I the iHeart Festival. I met them no, at no, 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 no. I just met them through my business. I was hired to come here to be me to be no, in the bride's no, party. That oh, defeats that the defeats, purpose. No. Oh boy, you guys. You're All blow right. It. Well, we'll work on it. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Bye, bye. Good luck. So, Jen is a professional bridesmaid and. I guess there's a lot of work for that out there. Wow. Okay. That's a first for me. That's a that's first speechless. for me. To be that speechless.